welcome back to the playhouse i hope you enjoyed the conversation thus far i'm telling you if you're just catching us here do yourself a favor you're not you're not doing yourself justice if you're not starting this from the very beginning don't just read the title that's written on the video and capture the video from here go catch this thing from the beginning the history is important context is important pass let's continue this story yeah. so where where we've left off mm-hmm. um just let's see if i'm right you've you've made the ultimate decision or you've made a decision in high school mm. that you know what this internal conflict that i'm having mm. between uh, doing this club thing or this internal conflict that i'm having in whatever it may have been you've decided no more no more your pals have told you we're giving you two weeks or two see weeks you, see you this at all see you next at all <laughs> sunday, <laughs> sunday. See you on sunday jump session jump session <laughs> uh, and the so never showed up for any other jump session it was over and it was let's give him another week he will come back let's give him another week it will it just remain the same so now i turned my energies did you have to change the group of people that you're hanging out with no listen uh huh so i started a study group starting with myself i said now after after school i remain in class what after school i remain in class you know um you inform you know you know let me let me let me i forgot to mention something uh-huh, okay we grew up in gara in asian type of houses asian type of houses are communal houses mm, mm. yes it's this house next house next house next house next house and that house is not the house a self contained house the toilet is outside the bathroom is outside mm-hmm. it's a communal bathroom is a communal communal uh, toilet, toilet. Yes. so proper asian style and uh, and uh, that meant space was very limited very very limited um and where the table that my mom used to cu- to cut uh, skuma wiki yeah, on go all those things yes that was the same table i used to read on mm. so as as she is cutting uh onions and skuma wikis i'm also reading from the same table mhm So you wanted your own table. <laughs> <laughs> we were literally living in a two-roomed house. Wow. One is bedroom, the other one is living room. Oh, hold on. Yes. Bedroom with your siblings. Yes. So someone takes the couch somewhere like that. Not even yeah. <laughs> literally we it was a two roomed house so we would the 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 and that two room, that that one one room is serving as a sitting as a bedroom and also is where we cook but also is where the table for, the only table in the house that mm. you can read on is so i would sit on my bed and the table is here uh-huh. and my mom on the other side is cutting vegetables yo hey. and you know when you said <laughs> you guys were the was the the well of guys uh, in the community in the community yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> not not <laughs> no. not that not yeah. that style yes i am not that style but uh, i'm saying this also is because of where we had chosen to it was a, an indian setup mm-hmm. indian indians it's you have your mother Cause, your yes, cause, your like brother, that your brother the new wife yes 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 yes, 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 yes. so and each they live in uh, one or two rooms mm. each Yes. So then when they are cooking, they would come sit on the on the on the on the doorstep mm. and everybody is is preparing their meals mm. outside. Yes. But now Africans adapting this, it came became something a little bit different because we are not exactly one. Yes, you're not one family. One family. Yes. You're not exactly one family. So reading space was a big issue. A big issue. So, say now after school time um 
take a break of 30 minutes, go back to class. Slowly, some of the guys I used to go for jam session with, they started joining me. Oh. Now, I had others now who are not involved in that group. So we formed quite a, a sizable study group. What? This is impressive. So we would, uh, we would read from 5, 5 p.m. to about 9 or 10 p.m. What? And then walk home. And then walk home. Mm. And um, it, was, it was a very interesting season for me because also, remember my dad doesn't have a job. Mm -hmm. We couldn't afford school fees. Um, so anytime kids were being sent home because of uh, school fees, fees default, mm. I was, I was top, <laughs> top player. I was at the top. <laughs> In fact, common knowledge. Everybody knew Pires. Pires. <laughs> Let's start with Pires. <laughs> I start with files. I would stay a whole year without paying school fees, even a coin. Mm. Even a coin. And it was not my <laughs> biggest problem. Because going home to ask for school for school fees, it was too down the, uh, the, 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 the priority <laughs> the priority list. You know, if you're struggling mm. with putting food on the table, um, Surely, school fees is not one of them. So when I'm when I'm told to go home, I, I would not go home. I would go to Kenya. I would walk to Kenya National Library. What? Yeah. So trek, Grogon, up Community Hill, Kenya National Library. That was my refuge. So I'd go there and read and get lost there. Six, when they close, I walk. Uhuru Park cut through, you know, mamangina, until I get home. Mm. There was no, uh, there was nothing like bus fare. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it never even occurred to me that I could get into a, a bus. <laughs> 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 mm. <laughs> so, it was, it was a very interesting season. Did, did that season dent you? What I mean is, um, there's some people who get kicked out of school, becomes shameful and becomes affects their self-esteem. Um, other people can use it as motivation of I'm never going to let this happen to it my was, future kids or something. I never, <coughs> I never felt it that way. It's I never felt ashamed. Mm. Um, I just felt I was unstoppable. Nothing could stop me. Nothing could stop me. From what attaining this, from attaining whatever I had set my mm -hmm. my, 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 my mind to, mm. and that time is riches. Uh, no, I mean, I needed to get, I needed, I need to, to pass mm. oh, okay. exams. Okay, you know, that's the first goal. Yeah, that was my. That was, those are now little steps. Mm -hmm. You know, so oh, I get it. So even because okay, and so even the motivation to study for you passing was going to help you attain this goal that you set? For me, it was... That internal was, goal that you for set? For me, going to university was a do or die. Oh, if I didn't go to wow, university, wow, it wow, meant wow. it meant that I would be pushing Mgogo um, Tenikat or something. That was the only alternative. Yo. There was nothing else on offer for me beyond that point. I had to position myself to be to be absorbed somewhere by force, mm. you know. So that is huge. So going to university was key. So for me, when I, when we were being chased from school, I would not even go home. I just walk straight to, to Kenya National Library. I I knew everybody in Kenya National Library. I knew where the, which book was where, and I would spend my day there. No lunch, no nothing. The whole day. And I would go back home, I would say nothing. Dad. I would not complain to my parents. I would not I would not add stress to them. Mm -hmm. No. But the awareness that you already been faced with life or death options. Mm -hmm. I mean what you've talked about is huge. You've talked about 
if you didn't make it for, first of all you don't have the money mm. for even high school let alone university let alone university so for you not getting the grades to get into university first forget where the money will come from the grades first and foremost was an was a do or die yeah and now that that was that was really hard the other bit is that if you relied on the notes that you were getting in class I had proven it was I was never going to go to university so literally I read text I researched textbooks I wrote my own notes <laughs> and then I studied I wrote my own notes you taught yourself I taught myself <laughs> I'd look for books from everywhere I would write my own notes not the, not the teachers notes mm. my own notes what I'm hearing you say is that you already knew that the quality of education within the school that you are was not going to get you no, into no, no, university no. the way you wanted look here we every year we had about 240 people leaving school we barely did five people who went to university ah yeah 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 so for you to be in that top five you needed to do something that is not done in school. Mm. And that's something you is, you needed to teach yourself. And find out what it is. So later on I came to I mean I had so many friends who went to other national schools. I realized I worked five times harder. Okay. I worked five times harder. That one in fact many of them I am the one who was showing them how to research in <laughs> university. <laughs> you had started doing what is supposed to be done in university. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So and in that has translated even today mm -hmm. even in the corporate world people tell you buddy you, you are a teacher mm -hmm. you 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 can teach and it's cause I had to learn how to teach myself the discipline was instilled unknowingly yes in 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 this era in that era so I had such um odds against me huge odds and I and I was uh, very much aware of them so I was doing better than the people who are remaining in class. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and um, one one moment I will never ever forget in my life was when we are, we now needed to do our mock our our to sit for our mock exams so that we would get our index number. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That moment or rather that time uh, it was towards the end of the year. I had not paid even one single cent of tuition and the headmaster was very clear if you've not paid even 200 bob you sh you should not come to school and you'll not sit for exams and that meant if you don't have an index number you're not sitting for it's you're God. done mm -hmm. so <laughs> i went home i told my mom by the way we have a situation this thing that i've worked hard for it's about to slip away. I woke up the following morning, my mom told me, let's kneel down. So we knelt. Her on the other side of the coffee table, me on the side yeah. of the coffee table. And her hands were up and she was praying. And, hey, man, you know, fervent prayers. Eh? Life and death prayers. And me, I was there, I was believing every word even if I was a religious person, that day I was a spiritual person. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I believed every word. And then she told me, now go to school. What? Now go to school. I remember taking my bag, leaving through the door, and I looked back and I could see from the window, my mom, I could see her image through the window and her hand was still up like this. It was following me. I was going, it was going like this. <laughs> Until I disappeared around the corner. I went to school. Big hall. Chairs uh, nicely arranged. Look for my number for my seat. I sat down. They came, the teachers came, distributed the exam papers. And then they said, start. And then I started. I'm like, man, I can't believe I'm writing this exam. <laughs> I'm not paying even one cent. It's public knowledge. Um, <laughs> 30 minutes into the exam, 
our head uh, deputy headmaster walks in you know in a rush followed by a team of pref prefects oh no and he stood at the front and said everyone stop writing now if i call out your name get out come with your paper put it here pick your bag and go home my heart was pounding boof 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 eh i was frozen he had two full cups he started calling names Kutieno, who next full cup called he called he turned he he called the last one my name was missing ah, yeah yeah <laughs> yeah 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 like guys left it was like an exodus mm. guys left like i'm here i'm still inside he said now you guys continue writing now outside i'm hearing guys saying you guys this is unfair me I have a balance of 200 bob <laughs> pires is inside there and he's writing the exam no way outside i can hear them i sat for that exam two weeks i finished my name went missing <laughs> that's the first time i was a christian before but the first time i knew god is real mm -hmm. god is real and he answered prayer he answers prayer because <laughs> he answered my prayer <laughs> there's no one who paid that that's that, that, that a miracle it was a miracle that's a miracle it was a miracle and then there was i did so well and the teachers who are aware that this guy has not paid school fees they just are talking among each other like you know this is one of our best hopes for this school what what can we do for him so they they started trying to organize my mom everything you know what i was granted bursary no way for the rest of my until form 4 you are joking i finished form 4 on bursary ah yeah 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 okay Hey, this torona has taken a tangent. I didn't, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see this it going this way. Man, so what like like you are in the in the top 10 or or now uh, I was uh, I was uh, I was top 10. Yeah, there's no way that if, if you are number 50 I was I was, I was, uh, I, was I was I mean out of 240 students for them for the mock exam I was number 14 which mm. was good for them. Yes. Um and this was in form 2. No, 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 now I'm in form 3. Yes, okay, form 3. I, I was entering form 3. Yes. So so um that 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 was like a miracle. Man, the pressure for school fees phew, disappeared. That's why today I support so many people school mm -hmm. fees. I mean, for me there are two I, things. I was going to ask you that but I I didn't I didn't I didn't I didn't want to to force it out of you because I know a lot of people who support people sometimes they, they keep it under wraps. Mm. I mean for for me and my wife uh, my late wife there are two things that we've always been available. If you don't have food to eat we will we will we will do everything to make sure you have food to eat. Number two, school fees. We've adopted many kids some living with us others outside mm. and just just help them to go through this thing and some have finished university you know so for me that seed even today is still in me it's still in me that someone paid for my school fees I, whom i will never know mm. yeah whom i will never know and that changed your complete life set you on this path So all, all these hardships were were pointing to only one thing the bitterness of poverty mm -hmm. which later on you you see the kind of the what i do is basically i'm, I'm an evangelist against poverty <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> 
<laughs> I, my, my, my mission is to make sure as many families as possible will never have to experience that. Mm -hmm. I believe that's my purpose. And that's why God allowed me to go through that, that experience. There's so many things you can try and explain, you know. I had both of my parents and all those yes. things. But God, God is so high that he will choose you and he will make sure you go through certain things so that you will understand the pain of something, a mission field that he's sending you. Mm -hmm. I mean, even just from the like, what you've just shared, I can imagine how many other piouses are there because pious is there. Mm. What I mean is you've just talked about how you help um, people go through school. Mm. And you also talked about for your own self how you needed to pass this school or be pushing coco tennis. Yeah, that yeah. was the difference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get there And how something small as 200 shillings could have got you kicked out of the room. Oh, yes. You, you are the people who are outside saying, hey, me, I, 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 I only have a balance of 200 shillings. You know? Mm. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, this story is, this story is, <laughs> it's, it's, I love it. Let me just say, I honestly love it because I truly believe, even in my interactions with you, there's, there's reason behind your teaching. When we enter money markets, the conversation on money market, when we enter the conversation of center, Nabo, even when we talk about Chris Kirubi, because I've seen, we've been with you in the same room as him, all of these things, I'm seeing the foundation that was laid. Mm. And you've nailed it. Purpose. Your purpose, purpose is to empower families and eradicate poverty. Mm. Okay, so how do you do in, in high school? Or is there another... Ah, I don't even think a story can be that one. <laughs> <laughs> That was the purpose of high school for you. <laughs> so, is... so, so high school, again, I remember we are working through... We are working against huge odds. Not being... Many classes missed having to read research write my own notes mm. so i couldn't concentrate on every subject mm -hmm. so I, I i narrowed down sciences mathematics mm. mathematics my, <laughs> ma, ma, mathematics <laughs> but my, my dad my dad was has been such a big influence in my life so my dad is very science oriented very mathematics Maths. oriented as in <laughs> my dad would read uh, what do you call it? there was this big physics book oh. abbott it was called uh, abbott uh, uh, he would read the whole thing and he's not in school just to <laughs> keep me company <laughs> he was enjoying you know and that was a privilege that so, was a privilege that was a privilege yeah so i scored A's, sciences mathematics Swahili, I really did badly. <laughs> <laughs> I did badly. So, but I had enough to go to university. So we had about about five people who made it to university, and I was one of them. And by university, you mean the University of Nairobi? Univers oh. uh, university of Nairobi, the <laughs> University of Nairobi. So, I ended the University of Nairobi. What year is this now? When this is now, I finished ninety-five. Then we had to stay home for two years, then I joined uh, university in 1997.